This is a digital anemometer by TopTez. This is the model 301 and this is one of the most advanced digital anemometers on the market. I think this is the perfect companion when you are out flying your drone. And I'm sure you are thinking right now that I have finally lost the plot. All drone flyers know that the wind speed up there is a lot greater than it is down here. So what is the point in measuring the wind speed right at ground level when of course it won't be relevant as soon as you take off and get up to potentially 120 meters. But hear me out because I think you are viewing these pieces of apparatus completely wrong. So let me explain. So this is the digital anemometer from TopTez. This is the TS301. And the first thing you're going to notice is it's got a nice big LCD screen. That's absolutely fantastic for being able to clearly see the wind speed we are picking up. The main button you're going to be using right here is the unit button. And you press that to toggle between the units to select the one which you prefer. As you can see there, we have got feet per minute, feet per second, meters per second, kilometers per hour, knots and miles per hour of course we can use this button right here to toggle between degrees c or degrees fahrenheit whichever you prefer you can also long press to turn the backlight on or off ideal for flying in slightly lower light conditions of course we do have the power button right here but it will actually switch off after 10 minutes not being used to conserve the battery what i really like about this as well is it is nicely well built it feels solid and what I do like is we also get a carry case with this as well and three batteries. No small little round battery, we get three triple A's, meaning the battery should last quite some time. So why am I telling you that you are potentially thinking wrong when it comes to using products such as this? Let me explain why. Now, previously on my channel, I have shown many times how you can use apps on your mobile phone to basically see the forecast uh, and show the wind speeds at various altitudes for the area with which you are planning on flying. Now, here is the problem, because between these apps, we can sometimes get some discrepancies. If we look at Air Data UAV right now, it is telling us we've got one value if we switch to uav forecast we get a completely different value and if we switch to wind finder we get a different value again now relying on these apps alone i would be quite tempted to not go out and fly my drone thus potentially missing a vital shot or some content i wanted to create because looking at these apps it looks like the wind speed is actually quite high however what we can do is if you do have one of these in your drone toolkit you can use this on location to basically see which of these forecasts is actually correct and i think that makes a huge difference because it might well be that one of these forecasts that you usually use is completely out and showing much higher wind speed than it actually is preventing you in potentially going out and flying so a good example of this then is where i could potentially look to be flying right now judging by the forecast the minimum speed we received on our forecast was 14 miles per hour. However, being right in this open area of the water's edge, the maximum I've actually received, if the wind picks up, there we go, is 12 I just picked up there. So nine to 12, all right? So generally what we would find, hopefully you can pick that up, okay? So this is the problem, isn't it guys? Because I would potentially not come out and fly my drone based on that forecast you know the highest reading we received on our apps was basically beyond what we would normally fly our drone yet coming out on location and using a gadget such as this you can see that the wind speed is actually much lower than what has been forecast thus meaning that it's actually perfectly fine to fly our drone and we would have potentially missed some flying time or miscreated the content that we wanted to create so something like this can be incredibly useful so there we go not only is this top tes ts301 a quality piece of kit by having one in your drone kit bag might result in you being able to physically fly your drone so much more rather than being completely scared by these weather forecasts if you're interested in potentially getting one i will leave a link in the video description so you can go check out the amazon page of course slightly change of 
opinion on this one so please do let me know what you think to the point i'm making in the comment section below as well i'm always interested to hear your thoughts as usual if you did find this video informative please do give it a big thumbs up it tells the youtube more people just like you might want to watch my content subscribe if you're awesome and until next time see you again soon